Get it? Yeah. Let him go, Gonar! Guano is not a toy! Oh no! You could have fooled me! Lily, the orb is on the job! <laughs> and now, to take care of the real yo-yo! <laughs> Batter up! <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa! Water, water! Oh, no! Whoa, whoa! Oh, yeah. ah! Should we help him? He's fine. <laughs> Cheer up, Mikey. Just think, in five days we'll be living it up in Kagoshima! Oh, right. The beach thing. <laughs> Beach thing? Try one of the best resorts in the world! They have jacuzzis made of gold! And food made of fish! Plus, the beach is so relaxing! Except for the seagulls, and the sun, and the overwhelming fear that under the sand lurks an army of lobsters with night vision! I guess it'll be cool. At least it'll give me a chance to take my pit bulls out for a walk. Uh, <laughs> Mikey! We'll finish this later. This man would like to interview you. Mark and Foss, Harrison Pete the Third, to be precise. Beat reporter extraordinaire for the Cleveland Herald Tribune. If it ain't Cleveland, it ain't news. That was our old motto. New motto. Is your problem now? You big lug. <laughs> now this goes back to great grandpappy Mark and Foss. Uh, excuse me. You look familiar. Family. Have Even we met? Afraid not. Got a cousin in Tokyo though. Goes by the name of Scoop. Scoop Suzuki, the guy who blackmailed me and exploited my friends. <laughs> That's old Scoop. Well, why didn't you say so? What brings you to Tokyo? Why you, of course. I'm here to write the story of your life. Little Mikey Simon grows up to be a great big TV star. Cleveland boy makes good. You got the wrong man, Mucklebuck. Mikey's not from Cleveland. He's from America. <laughs> you seem like a guy who's pretty darn right even when he's wrong. <laughs> You've captured the very essence of Gonard. Stop! Tell me the story of your life here in Japan. My life? Sure! You're a big star, kid! You must have a story! What's the scoop? The download! The 411! Give me the information and don't skip on those details! Um, well, I wake up in the morning in a bed that's shaped like a rectangle. Then I brush my teeth with my very own toothbrush. Then I put on a shirt, then pants, then underwear, then back to just pants. Then I play 20 hours of video games. Then, who knows? Pretty exciting, huh? <laughs> That fast talking American wore me out. I need to relax. What I need is a good round of golf. Spot the fat middle aged kings! Hit the green in an hour. My clubs. A club! Good night! Hey, Mr. Muck and Fuss. Chicken! Oh, watch this out! You fell asleep during my awesome story. Awesome? Kid, that was the worst story I ever heard. And I've been a reporter for a hundred years. That seems impossible. I've seen them all, kid. And you're the dullest schmo this side of Joe Boring. And at least he's got a funny name. <laughs> I wasn't finished. Sorry, kiddo. Can't waste my time with the zeros. I need news I can use. Wait, uh, now that I think about it, there are other things in my life. Really exciting things. Such as? Uh... uh... Hey, did I mention that I have a beautiful Japanese girlfriend? Yeah. Boy meets girl, east meets west, romance in the land of the rising sun! Don't stop now, tell me more! Her name is Lily, and she's as sweet as that thing you put in food to make it sweeter. Hey, here she is! Are you talking again? Love tap, it's her thing. Sure, sure, tell me more about your fabulous celebrity life. Uh, I have a personal chef, Gonard. This is my mustard face. It goes on top of my real face. <laughs> Always experimenting. Keep it coming! Who else you got on the payroll? There's Guano, my bodyguard. Just a bodyguard? Not just any bodyguard, a really tall bodyguard. He's the tallest man in Japan. Tall man? Now that's newsworthy. So let me get this straight. You got a girl, a chef, a giant bodyguard. And a mime. Pardon? You heard me. I have a mime. That's her. She's inside the box. 
Wow! You're really living the life, kid. I could write a dozen articles about you. Aw, you don't have to say that just because it's true. I mean it. Mikey oh. Simons to catch me out. The bee's knees. The orphan sweatsuit. I'll mail you the story when it's finished. Yes! Oh, uh, a perfect day for golf. A perfect day for a perfect boss. What is this? Ray, I'm warning you, Sky. Stop immediately. I thought so. Get in there! Why? <laughs> How dare you disobey me? This is the last time. You ready? On Ozu! Ozu and control the weather! This is in no way logical. Man, everyone back home must think I'm so awesome! Hey, big guy, it's Mom and Dad! What a great article, Mikey! We didn't know you had a girlfriend or a mime! That's why we're coming to Japan! We can't wait to see your new life with our own eyes! <laughs> wait, no! Maybe your chef can make us dinner! Maybe your bodyguard can frisk us! We're leaving for the airport right now! See, see you, you soon! soon. <laughs> hey, friends! I got you all a little something for the trip! Wow, skills! Ooh, now I can go in the deep end! Whee! <laughs> uh, oh, wait, uh, I'm scared of heights. Keep it high! 100 delicious French pastries. Mmm, tastes like paper cuts. Is this a mine outfit? Don't you mean... Yeah, it's a mine outfit. Then go ahead, Lily, open yours. What? Can't a guy get his friend's suspicious presents for no reason? <sighs> okay. I know you thought I got you these gifts because I'm a terrific guy, but the truth is, I need a favor. You have stripped me of my innocence! You guys remember that reporter who was here? Sure. About yay high, face made of glass, always standing next to the fax machine? You're thinking of the photocopier. That wasn't a reporter? Then why did he want a picture of my butt? Anyway, I wanted him to write a good article, so I sort of told him a few little tiny... Uh, lies? No, not lies, just truth goofs. It's all here in the article. Yes, man. Yes, man. Do you copy? Is everything in place for Operation Weather Vane? Yes! I want to come inside now! You must stay strong. If we are going to control the weather, we must first study it. Yes, man. Listen. Ah! Ah! The iron is bending! <laughs> your girlfriend? Your giant bodyguard? Your personal Jeff? So Lily's your girlfriend and I'm just a mime? Not just any mime. My mime. Why are you guys so mad? I haven't even gotten to the part where we pretend this is all true for my parents. You what? have not your parents? Friends? Yep, they'll be here in a few hours. Surprise! But what about the beach? The beach will always be there. How often do you get to stage an elaborate life for my parents? I hope you're joking. All I'm asking you to do is cancel your amazing luxury vacation and be my servants for a few days. Mikey, we made those reservations months ago! It's beach time, baby. <sighs> I understand. You guys have fun at the beach. I'll be here. Disappointing my parents, telling them they flew all the way to Tokyo just to learn their only son's a phony. <laughs> go! Just go! I'll stay. Really? Oh, we were just eating a bunch of sand anyway. It would have been so sweet. A beach can wait. Besides, seagulls and guanos don't mix. You guys are crazy. I've got a son to bathe in. Okay, Lily. Have fun without us. By yourself. Alone. A solitary soul trotting the lonely shoreline. <laughs> Fine. Yay! This worked out great for everyone. Now, let's get ready to meet the Simons. <laughs> this is great! My parents are totally gonna believe I'm awesome! Are you guys pumped? 
getting a tan right now. I could be building a sand fortress. I could be eating Guano's sand fortress. Look, I know you guys are still mad about canceling our trip, but it'll all be worth it when my parents come. <laughs> Hello? Mikey! Big news! We're not coming to Tokyo! What? It's these killer bees! They're everywhere! They've shut down the airport! People are saying the bees want to control the government! But we're fine! We've got two years' worth of supplies in the basement! Anyway, <laughs> hope we didn't mess up your plans! Oops! The bees are back! I'll get the tarp! Bye, Mikes! Everything okay? Of course my parents are still coming! Of course we didn't cancel our beach trip for nothing! Anyway, I have to leave for a mysterious reason! <laughs> Ozu, you know how to deal with people and things, right? Yes. Ozu is a people person! Well, I have this friend. Let's call him, uh, Michael. Mikey for short. Uh. <laughs> so this guy's in trouble. He made his friends cancel their trip to prepare for his parents' visit, but now the visit's off. Uh-huh. Oh, Mr. Heat, my help! Mr. Heat, my help! What should he do? Keep in mind, he doesn't want his friends to be mad, and he's really handsome. It's like they say, into every life must fall a little rain. That's when you build a machine to control the weather. I see. So if life gives you lemons, hire two actors to pretend they're your parents. Thanks, Ozu. Do not mention it. <laughs> One last test. So that's it. The role of a lifetime. For one night, you'll be playing Mr. and Mrs. Simon. What do you say? Arr, I'm really more pirate than actor. That's why you're perfect for the role. You're ruthless, grizzled, and a lover of the high seas, just like my dad. What about me? You've got the hips of a 40-year-old woman. Arr, so what be in it for us? I told you, this is your big break. Your first gig as professional actors. I don't know. I never much went in for all that make-believing and fancy pantsing and whatnot. Trust me, you guys are naturals. Ahoy! Ye think we be thespians? No question. I'll bet my life you two could hit the big time. What do you say? <laughs> Mom! Dad! Mom! Ringy. Come meet everyone. This is my girlfriend, Lily. My chef, Gonard. My bodyguard, Guano. And my Mai, Mitsuki. Well, uh, that's everyone. Thanks for visiting! Arr, what's the rush, me boy? My monkey's always on the go. You need to slow down. Chew your food. Listen to your mother, me boy. She's a wee wise lass she is. Oh, go on. Arr, with pleasure. Uh, uh so... Gonard's a world-class chef. To eat is a necessity, but to eat intelligently is an art. That's wonderful, Gonard! A guy wrote it on my hand at the bus station. Fascinating. Can I interest anyone in a pastry? Napoleon? Cannoli? Maybe... Coco the Chocolate Whale? I used to work at an aquarium. <laughs> as a pirate. So, Guano's my bodyguard. Ah, Mr. Simon, you want I should take care of these two palooks for ya? No, they're my parents. You two's got off easy. So, Lily and I are getting pretty serious. Isn't that right, Lily Bear? I've never been happier. That's wonderful! Yeah, it's funny. I, I didn't want to date her at first, but she was really persistent. A mackerel of a catch, me boy. You've done the O'Houlihan name proud. O'Houlihan? He means Simon. Hey, look at the funny mime! <laughs> that sandwich ain't even there! <coughs> I mean, well done! So, 
If you are Mikey's real parents, you must know a lot about him. Sure, we know our boy Port to Starboard. When's Mikey's birthday? What's Mikey's name? Uh, well... Arr, uh, arr. Hey, maybe they can't answer every question, but the important thing is they're my real, actual parents. It works! My weather machine works! Wind! Okay, I have a confession to make. Those were not my real parents. <laughs> oh, really? What's going on? Why'd we have to cancel our vacation and meet some wig-wearing weirdos? Uh, because of a comical misunderstanding that you'll all understand? You made me learn how to cook delicious foods. Do you know how useless that is to me? Mikey, just tell us what happened. My parents couldn't come after all, so I got some fake parents so you wouldn't think I ruined your trip for nothing. So first you lied to the newspaper, then you lied to us? I didn't lie to the newspaper. I lied to the reporter from the newspaper. I'm not a monster. Okay, I know I boofed. Bigger than I've ever boofed before. But there's gotta be a way to unboof it all. A way to make it up to you guys. Something. <laughs> Given me yet? Mm. Nope. Uh, Ahoy! Can ye fetch me a root beer? Make that a double. You guys are still here? Arg! Just wait till ye have kids of your own. Now that's a story! Mighty Gonard is struck out! You win this time!